Hey guys, welcome back to LA Noir, the Silk Stocking Murder. Today we're bringing out the secret weapon. Ah, Phelps. I was just discussing with Finbar here how well you were doing. Have a seat. Really? After you told me off on the last case? Yeah, my real name. And you can just forget all about it. You boys have a new case. A poor Hispanic woman murdered near City Hall and left lying naked in an alleyway. Another naked woman, sir? Yes. We seem to have had quite a run of them since the Dahlia fiend first struck. Phelps is politely trying to hint that he thinks the Mendes case is hokey. Well, young Phelps, you win some and you lose some in police work. You're happy with the Mueller case, sir? Over the moon, boys! The DA couldn't be more pleased with the evidence, the witness, and the lack of an alibi. Now, get out there and catch me another sinner. Well, that's not what he told me on the last episode after the case. He told me off. And by the way, that case was extremely confusing. We did everything right up, to, up until the end. But anyways, if you saw the, the episode on the case, you, you probably understand. I was confused. Now, I like that this episode kind of started. Or rather, you had this case started somewhere else. Not really in the police station. So, yeah, that, that's different. I like it. You have the address? The alley off Aliso between Los Angeles and Alameda. You're kidding. The next one will be opposite Central Station. Count yourself lucky, Phelps. Most guys would kill to land a case so close to their desk. Yeah. It means they can pop in to hit the office supply of hooch whenever they need it. You know, that ain't a bad idea. That is not a bad idea at all, Phelps. <laughs> so we're gonna try and drive around here. Oh, God. This is a little crazy. Right, I'm going to put on the sirens. Stay on this road. I'm going to need these cars to move the heck out the way. Okay, we're here already. Fairly close. Crime scene at 1 p.m. Nice little scene to go to right after lunch. Detectives, they're ready to start the show. I'll take you through. Great. More dead bodies female bodies where you see everything and I've got to edit all this shit out. <sighs> Jesus Christ. Oh, for Christ's sake. Brothers, Pinker. Cause of death is pretty apparent. We thought we'd best wait for you when you're ready. Dude, it's like, it's all women. What? It's, come on, man. I'm going to check, make sure there's nothing around here. There's a blood trail coming from this way. The heck is this? Holy crap. Antonia. Antonia. It's a start. Jesus, dude. They freaking dragged her. She came from over here. Hold up. Hold up. Hold up. There is a literal blood trail. The leads where? Ooh. Oh, this is getting interesting. Proximity to the scene, plus the blood stains. No way is this coincidence. This is, that's got to be hers. Okay, wait. Is there anything else in this? That's a newspaper. No, that's that's definitely a uh, empty toilet roll. <laughs> okay. Any ideas? Don't start. Okay. Save your. Thing. Hold on. Check out the body, and then we'll make a search. We kept the area pristine for you boys. Let's check it out. I know they want me to search the body, but I, I, I cannot help but be intrigued. What the heck is this? This is a crazy case right now. Number five on it. House keys strung up like bait on a hook. Could that be her apartment number, perhaps? Apartment number five, maybe? You think he's trying to lead us somewhere? Probably all the way to City Hall that up there. Yeah, this is crazy. This one's actually quite terrifying, honestly. What is this, man? That's got to be a code. Dot pattern code? 253. 11? I don't know. I'm gonna leave it there. 
I think this is the end of the trail, honestly. This has got to be the end of the trail. Some Something up there? Is there a... Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Hold up. I know I should be checking the body, guys. I know, damn it. But hold on, man. This is getting crazy. We got Mr. Cole Phelps here. Spider-Man. Spider-Man. Bro, what the hell is this? She must have been injured. Up top. And dragged or maybe went all the way downstairs. Mrs. A. Maldonado. Oh, that's my cousin's last name. It's kind of freaky. Okay. I just had to open the letter and it's empty. <laughs> Mrs. A. Maldonado. Could it be Antonia Maldonado? So we got a first and last name, perhaps? Clearly wants us to find these things. He's left them for us. Oh, this guy's a psycho. There you go, Phelps. You got a new M.O. I told you, let's get back. Or he might just be getting more confident. Okay, further investigate this item. What do we got here? Enameled and gold-plated. This was precious to her. Yes, indeed. Where's this guy taking us, man? I haven't even inspected the body yet. What the fuck is going on? Bro, what if I get here and there's a guy here? And I haven't even inspected the body. <laughs> oh, shit. Okay. A ring. Pulled from the finger and hung up here. What's the significance? Okay, this is a crazy freaking killer. This is literally a psycho... Murderer on the loose. Oh, this is actually... Oh, that's her blood? He used the... Looks as though the killer was decorating with this. No wonder. Okay, that, now it makes sense. Because the to be able to drag a body all through this is kind of odd. But now... Pouring her blood in a bucket and then getting a brush and just painting... It's a little crazy, but it works, right? I guess. Let's see what we have here. Los Angeles. Son of a bitch wants her identified. Maldonado. That's her, all right. May 19th of 1949. Man, the 1940s were cray cray. Shanae Day. Right, so we've gotten the clues. We've gotten all the clues. Now we're going back to the body. Yep. I did my due diligence. Okay, thankfully the game did not take me somewhere else. We've got B here. Okay, and this is something that we've already seen. May as well follow the trail. We got A. Bloody sock. <laughs> Jesus Christ. If she took a blow to the head like the others, she was probably unconscious when strangled. No way to interact with this, I guess. There we go. We got the other piece of the puzzle. She was only 21 years old. 21 years old. Mrs. Antonia Maldonado, 712 North Hill Street, downtown. Yep. So that's her, that's her address. And that's her full name. So we've got something. Another wedding ring torn from the finger. Oh. No skin under the fingernails. God, that's a freaking bone, dude. Oh, I just ate and I'm quite disgusted. That's what I think I've seen it all. Lacerations on the neck would indicate a great deal of force. And in the cheekbone, too. Let's not forget that. Kiss the blood. BD. BD. Dude, they all have the same thing in common, though. All these cases have, like, the lipstick marks on the bodies and stuff. The evidence in the Mueller case was solid. I'm not convinced about Mendez. The best way to get away with murder is to pin it on somebody else. I'll bet a month's salary this is a copy job. Strangled, battered, yeah, naked. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We know the M.O. So does every jerk who kills his wife and girlfriend looking for a way out. I've spoken to Brown. He still believes the Dahlia perp has medical experience. Four women, all murdered, all put on display, all with messages. Mueller had no message. Look, Phelps, this is getting us nowhere. Anything for us to go on, Mel? Head injuries from contact with road. 
bruising from a small man's shoe, further blunt force trauma to the occipital region at the base of the skull. Could have been fatal, but clear signs of strangulation would seem to rule it out. Lipstick appears to be a similar color to the other cases. I'll see if I can nail down a brand. Now it's possibly time we just head back and get the heck out of here. Where's my vehicle? I think it's over here. Excuse me, sir. Good day to you. Keep doing your job or else I will see you in hell. All right, Antonio's residence. I think I should make my driver, uh, my partner drive. You know what? We'll drive there. What the heck? Let's just go for it. We will drive there because apparently my partner does not know how to freaking jog. Look at him. Seriously. Douchebag. It was Mrs. Maldonado, right? That's affirmative. All right, so then there's a husband we should be looking for. Get him. We've closed the case. Ah, uh, Rusty's razor, of course. I don't want to question your tried and tested techniques, Detective Galloway. But doesn't the DA require sound casework before he'll close the book? Not if he's got a confession. This guy always thinks it's the husband. Know, there's ways of getting it. I'm sure. He always thinks it's the husband that killed the wife. <laughs> what a guy. I mean, hey, a lot of the times, so far, almost all of them have been very, very suspicious. So he does have a point to an extent. To a certain degree. Okay, here we go. Here's the residence. Right up here. Lovely house. Very nice neighborhood. Approximately an hour and 17 minutes later, we've arrived at Antonia's residence. No pets allowed. What? Man, that's crazy. Look at that. If you open the door and you see two men with hats like that in a suit, you know it's trouble. I'm sorry. Can I help you? LAPD, ma'am. Detective Phelps and Galloway. Does Mrs. Maldonado live here? Yes, she does. I'm Mrs. Barbara Lapente, the owner of this boarding house. Is there a problem? I'm afraid so, ma'am. Do you mind if we come in? Is there somewhere we can discuss this? Of course. Follow me through to the parlor. Wipe your feet as you come in, detectives. It's this way. Mrs. Maldonado was found dead this morning. Dead? Oh, no. She can't be. I'm afraid she was murdered, ma'am. We need to take a look at her things. I can't believe it. A person seems so alive, and then they're gone. Antonia's room is upstairs, last door on the left. Thank you. We'll be back shortly. Uh, excuse us a moment, ma'am. Oh, okay. What? 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 what, what? <laughs> Upstairs to the left, I think she said. I already forgot what she said, honestly, because I'm just that damn stupid. Yeah, five to six. It's got to be five. I mean, the key said five, right? Yep. I have another camera here, so sometimes I'll be looking here instead of here. So, sorry. Will you look at that. Someone's turned the place over. Oh, breaking. Excuse me. The smashed window explains why the place looks tossed. And you're telling me she didn't hear that? You know how I feel about windows, Phelps. You're going to tell me she did not hear that old lady didn't hear a break in? Come on. Miss Maldonado or Mrs. Meaning she was married. <laughs> Mrs. Antonia is Isabel Maldonado. 712 North Hill Street, downtown Los Angeles, Antonia. Further to my previous correspondence of August 7th, I am writing to inform you that a petition to the Superior Court of the State of California has been accepted and a court date scheduled your case. Uh, scheduled your case. Docket number 98765 will be heard on September 17th. I'm told that your husband, Angel Christopher Maldonado, residing at... 304, 330 in uh, North Hill Street, Los Angeles, has been served with the official papers and is on notice to appear to Central District Court on the above dates. 
Though it is not essential and many women in your position choose not to do so, I would advise you also to appear at the Central District Court on the scheduled dates. In my experience, a woman's plaintiff residence okay, we have an address. in cases like this uh, can do uh, much to influence proceeding, uh, proceedings. And if your husband does not appear on September 17th, which you have told me he is likely, and it can only help your chances. This is this 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 this, just, this smells like her husband's all over it. Yep. Her mother, uh, her, her husband murdered her. That's it. It's final. Uh, Charm bracelet wasn't among the crime scene evidence. What, what a beautiful photo, Antonia Maldonado. Oh, so beautiful. That's it. We got all the clues. Goddamn. Okay. So why does it still beep like that? Does that still mean even after you get all the clues, is it normal for it to beep like that? Anyways. Yeah, let me know. All right, let's head downstairs. I think we should interrogate this old lady or speak to her. Or should we just head? We probably got to speak to her now. Get some clues off of her. We have some questions, ma'am, if you're up to it. Yes, detective. I'll do my best. Possible suspect. So we're speaking to Barbara Lapenti, 62 years of age, female with blue eyes and brown hair. Do you have any idea who might have wanted to hurt Mrs. Maldonado? That rat of her husband, Angel. She was serving him divorce papers. If I killed every wife to serve me papers, I'd be a mass murderer. <laughs> Are you being flippant, young man? No, ma'am. Okay, that's, that's a fair answer, right? We can go with that. What can you tell us about Angel Maldonado? She married him when she was 17. He was cruel to her, very cruel. She was a good girl, a little on the religious side, but a good girl. Moments, uh, movements of victim. Let's see. What time did Antonia go out yesterday? She left around nine. Do you know where she went? No, I, I have no idea. She was a good girl, but she didn't confide in me. Ah, uh, she's lying. A nosy old hag like you knows everything about the people who live under her roof. Shit. Where did she go? I think she went to a bar. Jesus, that's cruel. She's been drinking quite a lot lately. This bar have a name? El Dorado Bar. It's a Latino place on North Los Angeles Street. That's only a couple of blocks from where we found the body. Yep. Okay. Evidence of the break-in. You've had a break-in? No. That can't be true. I mean, we, we could accuse her of the broken window like we said earlier, but... I mean, what if she doesn't really know about that? But then again, it's hard to... I mean, she must have heard that. There's just no way. You're being economical with the truth, Mrs. Lepenti. What do you have to hide? I have no idea what you are talking about. Okay. Broken window. So Antonia lost her keys and used an iron bar to jimmy the back window? I heard a noise in the early hours of the morning. I thought it might be a raccoon at the milk bottles. Jesus Christ. It'd be very bad for business if this news got out. I have a reputation to protect. Breakdown of the marriage. Antonia and her husband were estranged? Yes. She moved here after she separated from her husband two months ago. But Antonia still wore a wedding ring? She wore the wedding ring and a necklace. She always wore a religious necklace. That's about all of her jewelry. No, she had, uh... No, no, wait. What about her bracelet? I don't know anything about a bracelet. Yeah. Charm bracelet photograph. In her wedding photo, she's displaying a charm bracelet. That thing? She never wore it. 
he gave it to her. She always kept it in that wooden jewelry box. Damn, she knows a lot, man. Holy been cow. Very helpful. Pay a call to that husband of hers. Lock him up and throw away the key. Throw away the key. We can either front Angel, seeing as the finger's pointing right at him, or we can check out the old going. We're gonna go to the Maldonado residence just because it's first on the list for this one. All right, this should be her husband's address. A nosy old hag? <laughs> <laughs> and I thought I was coming on strong with the ex-wives line. Sometimes you have to be firm to get the information you need. God damn it, ain't that the truth? <laughs> the Maldonado residence. 127 p.m. There we go. Hmm. Phelps, this could turn ugly. Forget about knocking. Let's take our boy by surprise. Hey, what the fuck? LAPD, <laughs> motherfucker, you're under arrest. Oh! Oh, I forgot. I got a hundred pounds. Forgot the fighting now. Hey, Come here, punk. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, shit. Ah, oh. <laughs> Come here, punk. Bob and weave on your ass. Let's go, baby. Perform a grapple attack. <laughs> oh, shit. We just beat their ass. <laughs> Damn, they got some decent shots in there. Cuff these sons of bitches, Phelps. LAPD, you two are under arrest. Call for some backup, Finbar. What if they both did it? Galloway, badge number 564. I need a prowl car at the apartment building 330 North Hill Street. Two suspects need transporting to Central. Your wife has been murdered, Angel. Antonia? Oh, God, no! Where were you last night, Angel? I was here with my brother the whole night, God damn it! You think I could kill my own wife? I don't know, man. Should get the whole place of going over, then talk to the neighbors. Canvas the neighbors. And Phelps, I don't care that you just got smacked in the head. You don't call me Finbar. <laughs> All right, let's start investigating some clues here. Not everything here is going to be relevant. Okay, let's see. Search around here. Sometimes it's pretty difficult I'm trying to find out what the hell is relevant and what's not. Just picked fruit market. I wonder if Angel gets all his groceries from this place. Very nice. Angel, I see you. Very, very nice. And we've got a knife there. We got the trash. Oh. Oh. This will take some explaining. Oh. Well, well, well. Not gonna lie, some of these freaking guys are retarded, bro. Like, they don't even. Maybe one of the neighbors took notice of Angel's move. And I pick. He's got no alibi. He's Yo, you wanna pick up your hat, partner? No? Okay. Now it's time to speak to the neighbors. What do you want? LAPD. We're making some inquiries. Make it quick. I work nights. So you weren't home last night? No. I was at work. You know nothing about Mrs. Maldonado fighting with her husband? Those two? They're always screaming the place down. Thanks. Jesus, goddamn rude. How dare you act like that? I am the law, damn it. FBI, open no up! Good. Nobody here. No? How about here? 
Oh, fucking oh, shit. Hey, sorry about that. I'm playing with my kids. <clears throat> LAPD, were you here last night? Yeah. My uh, wife and I are separated, and uh, I had the kids last night. I put them to bed early and went to bed myself. Thanks. Hmm. Hello. LAPD, ma'am. Did you hear a disturbance last night? Yes. Yes, I did. Mrs. Maldonado lit out of here and her husband ran out after her. You saw this, Miss? Aranda. I had the door open a crack. Did you see Mr. Maldonado come back inside after he ran out? No. I didn't. Thanks. We'll be in touch. I kept thinking you were going to call that one a nosy old <laughs> hag too, Phelps. <laughs> Well executed restraint. Well, I'm executing restraint right now, Finbar. Okay, so can we also knock on these doors? No, they don't have the golden knobs, so I don't think we can. Well, we have a husband's alibi, so that's that's good. It's good. It's good. It's very good, actually. It's gonna help us. Just trying to make sure there's nothing here. Who is this? Staff only. I mean, I think we're good then, right? I would assume we're good. Let me let me let me ask my partner. See what he says. Sometimes this helps. Hey, tell me I'm something. Not a loss. The hired help at the El Dorado might have seen the broad the night she died. Maybe the regular too. Check it out. Oh, wow. Look at this. We just went right past this. <laughs> uh, we just went right past this. Wow. I am a fool. Nothing here. Okay, cool. All right. So let's get the heck out of here then. You know, let's the way. go to El drive. Dorado bar. Fine. Where are we headed? Cole Phelps, for the love of God, get in. Car 11 K, Car 11 King, come in. KGPL, 11 King, over. Red show. 11 K, Captain Donnelly, Detective Sergeant Finnis Brown, urgently request your presence at Central. A new letter has been found. 11 K, en route. Now, Return to the Central Station. Central Police Station, 137. Captain is waiting for you downstairs with Anchor. Okay. Are we in interview room one again? Two? Or downstairs? Okay. I think his name is Phelps. I read about him in the paper. Yeah, that's right. Everybody reads about me on the paper. Quite famous around these streets, you know? I don't think we've ever been here, actually. Boys, come on in. Phelps, have you met Finnis Brown? Pleased to meet you, sir. His information is confidential and doesn't leave this room. The new letter was left in the back seat of a cab. The driver thinks it was put through the window and not left by a customer. We're checking all this fares back 24 hours, regardless. Good. Like the previous letters, it's been assembled from headlines and typed from the Times and Examiner, then glued to an envelope. What is the other note? This one? That's also new. A poem, hand-typed. Do you mind if I take a look? Go ahead. We've been over both documents pretty carefully. They've been wiped with gasoline, so there's no chance of prints. <sighs> well, I didn't even know you could do that. <clears throat> okay. That's the message from the Celine Henry case. I'm changing my mind. You would not give a square deal. Fuck you. BD. Text. Huh. Keep upon thy soul. Keep upon thy soul by virtue of this curse. 
ill deeds than be thou damned beholding good both infinite as is the universe and though and thy self-torturing solitude an awful image of calm power though now thou sittest let the hour come when thou must appear to be the witch the okay great that's why we called you in you think it's original not unless he's a genius you like this nut jobs poem no i like shelley it was written at least 100 years ago shelley sure i knew that you see finnis i told you this lad was a bright boy sure but what does it got to do with the case prometheus unbound prometheus was a titan a superhuman character who defied the gods to bring fire to humanity. The Dahlia guy believes he's Superman. Your guess is as good as mine. One thing for sure is that he's educated. What about the link to the Henry case? He could have got the wording from the papers. As you said, he is fiendishly clever and takes pleasure in taunting us. What's happening with the Maldonado case? We have the husband in custody. We haven't interviewed him yet. Went upstairs then, lads, and see if we can break him. Oh, snap. Okay, here we go. Out to the interview room. Let's go interview this little fucker. See if you can spill the beans. We got work to do, partner. I mean, you know. Now, which room is he in? One, two. He's in two. Perfect. Here we go. Improved your attitude, Angel. What do you want me to say? I was with Antonia the night she died, but she left the apartment, and that was the last time I saw her. <laughs> You're lying. Your neighbors say you chased her. You 23-year-old male with brown eyes and brown hair and strange husband of a victim, Antonia Maldonado. Scumbag. So your wife paid you a visit last night. What time was that? Late, around midnight, maybe. She didn't stay long. Oh, he lying, bro. But it wasn't late, because your neighbor told us. You're lying, Angel. You went after her. I think you killed her. You're out of your mind. My brother will tell you I was at home. Okay. Here we go. Where's the uh, husband's alibi? Right here. We have a witness who confirms that you were arguing, that your wife ran out, that you followed her, and didn't come back. I know this looks bad, but it's not true. We argued, all right? But she went out, and I went out after her, and she jumped in a car on the corner. There was a car waiting for her? Can you describe the driver? Not the driver. It was too dark. But the car, it was a brown Ford Coupe. Oh, divorced proceedings. You and your wife weren't getting along. She was divorcing you. Is that why you killed her? We fought, yeah, but we weren't getting a divorce. Oh, what the f yes, you were. I have the proof. I don't believe you, Angel. I got the proof. She'd been granted a decree nice side. She pushed you too far, and you lashed out. I told you. I wouldn't accept the divorce. Where is it? Divorce papers or the letter, I think it was. Attorney's letter. It's this one, right? The judge had set a date. You were going to be paraded in front of the whole city for your cruelty to her, Angel. Antonia. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> she came in drunk, out of her mind. She doesn't normally drink. She was looking around in her bag. Said she wanted to serve me papers. Me, her own husband. So I slapped her down. She ran out. That's the truth. What size shoe do you wear, Angel? Size 8. What the fuck does that mean? Really? Huh. When we found your wife, her jewelry had been removed. Was she wearing her religious medallion last night? Sure. She always wore that.
I don't think so. Looks like somebody broke into her room and stole her things there, too. Why'd you do it, Angel? What the hell are you talking about? I was home with Hippolito. God damn, I got that one wrong. I thought he was lying. Shit. Your wife has been brutally murdered. So how do you explain your shirt being covered in blood? You found that? I cut myself <laughs> shaving. <laughs> shaving what, bro? What are you talking about? Liar. Angel, I'm not going to waste any more time on this. Give me something or I'm going to have you charged. My brother, Hippolito. He said some bad things about Antonia last night. So I had a sock him one. We got into it. Keep talking. She said she came from the El Dorado bar. And? It's not one of my places. We used to buy fruit at the market down the street. But the creep there was always running his eyes all over my wife. What's the name of this fruit market? Just picked fruit. Ord Street downtown. One last question, Angel. Do the words kiss the blood mean anything to you? No. Sounds sick to me. You're not in the clear by any means, Angel. You're going back into a cell. You should think about whether you have anything else you need to share with us. I don't think he killed her. Hey, you think those vice boys get in there? Honestly, I don't I don't I don't I don't think he killed her. I'm out of here. At all. I don't know why, I just I think he's innocent in a way. Alright, let's see where we go next. You can drive. And where exactly are we going? El Dorado. We're gonna have to go to El Dorado. Yeah, I think I think he's innocent. I feel like there's one main person that's involved with all these cases. It's strange that all these murders are happening to girls who've been out drinking. No, no. A broad drinks, she gets a bit tight, she starts mouthing off. This leads to that, and she ends up in an alleyway. It's a sad story, but this town's seen it play out a thousand times. Cole. Why don't you want to see a connection here? Because there are perfectly good real-life suspects for every one of these murders. We don't need to go looking for the monster under the bed. What can I get you? LAPD. Detectives Phelps and Galloway. Diego Aguilar. How can I help? You worked the bar last night? Yeah. Me and a temp guy from the agency. Did you have a woman in here last night, 21 years old, Hispanic, drinking heavily? We have a lot of ladies like that in here. But yeah, I know who you mean. Antonia Maldonado. Oh, what did she do? She was murdered last night. Oh, shit. Do you know her well? Was she a regular? Hell no. But she was good and tight last night, complaining about her old man. It's a story you get used to working in a bar. She was so hammered last night, she left a letter on the bar. I'll show you. What? My eggs were running. Los Angeles County, the state of divorce papers. Did you open them? No need to. She was shouting about it and waving the letter around. Said she was going to show him. Petition, Superior Court, wow. Damn, well, she wanted none of that anymore. <laughs> Poor guy. Oh, well. Snoozy lose, pal. Can you remember what jewelry she was wearing? She had a necklace. Some kind of religious thing, I think. The temp guy would have more of an idea. She took the beer he served her and cried into it all night. What time did she leave? Can't say for sure. Mm. Where did she go? Give me something or the LAPD will start getting interested in this place. Take it easy. She went to the cab, okay? And my phone was out of order. The closest one I knew was at the fruit market across the street, so I suggested she try there. She seemed reluctant. Okay, good. All right, so movements of victim. Did Antonia say where she was going when she left? 
She said she was going to serve the papers on the husband. Said that would take the smile off his face. If you ask me, she was scared. And the drink was for Dutch courage. Okay. She attract any interest? An extremely drunk young woman? What do you think? She managed to scare them off, though. At least Thanks. he thinks she did. You've been a big help. No problem. Hey, get the guy, will you? We'll do our best. One last question. What size shoe do you take, Mr. Aguilar? A broad nine. I have wide feet. <laughs> All about the shoe size here, huh? Okay. You ought to meet Joe's buddy. It's nice. All right, we're going to have to head... You're behind the wheel. Another letter? I thought the letter was from a nut. The letters? Brown and Hanson believe they are genuine. From him. Now we sent another. You know, I really hate this fuck. This black Dahlia guy. You seen the body? Fucking cased his nose away to his guts. Hollywood. Every prom queen from every fucking hick town in America turns up here. Where do they end up? Gut is a fucking sidewalk. Hmm. <laughs> he just walked through that. <laughs> the handbag was left just up there, overlooking the market. Could have come here from the start and saved ourselves a day's legwork. Okay, I wonder if we can inspect anything here. Just go speak to this guy? I guess so. Oh, some gold doors over here. What is this? Locked. LAPD. Detective Phelps and Galloway. Clem Feeney, what can I do for you? Did you happen to see a young woman last night? 21 years old, Hispanic? Sure, she came by last night. Why do you ask? All right, so person of interest, Clem Feeney, 32 years of, uh, years of age, male brown eyes and hair, just picked fruit market owner. She was wearing a necklace? I didn't notice. You weren't paying attention, Feeney? Hey, you're getting the wrong idea. He's lying. Exactly how much fruit do you sell here after midnight, Clem? Uh, look, not much. I sell the odd <clears throat> bottle on the side to the after-hours crowd. Well, I don't want any trouble. I'm just trying to make a buck. I can respect that, Mr. Feeney. Reminds me of Boy Meets World. Did you guys ever watch that show? The young lady show. arrived around midnight? Yeah, something like that. Used the phone for a cab and then left. He's lying again, huh? Yeah, look at his eyes. Huh, oh, little bastard. You already knew Mrs. Maldonado, didn't you, Clem? Sure, I met her before. She seemed like a nice lady. Her husband went apeshit one day when he caught me talking to her. She hadn't been back until last night. Where did she go from here? She wanted a cab, but I couldn't get her one. I was about to offer to drive her, but a car pulled up, and she got into that. Can you describe the car? Brown Ford Coupe, I think. She seemed to know the guy. Do you mind if we look around? Why would you want to do that? Because we say so. I guess you can. Don't you have to get a court order or something? I have rights. Clem? Shh. Well, you mentioned the same vehicle. The same exact vehicle that was mentioned by her husband, her, her ex-husband. Right, so I don't think we could interact with any of these things here. Banana peel. <laughs> Brown Ford. Alright, we might actually be able to go in through the doors now. <clears throat> Where's my partner at? Where the hell? What? Where'd he go? Oh. <clears throat> no 
wonder he stays open late at night. People have to get their vitamins. Check through this stuff before we get back out there. Oh, I just saw a freaking wrench here or something. <gasps> Why cut someone who was already dead? A scalpel. It's a typical power thing. Once the sniff is dead, the creep usually feels they can do whatever they like. Maybe. You must have seen it during the war. It could, it, it could be the same thing to cut her ring. I don't know. Dude, could this guy be the murderer? Let me see. What do we have here? Oh. So what are we hiding in here? This thing needs a combination. Oh. 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 Was it four? Or five, three? Wives submit to your husbands as to the Lord. 23. For the husband is the head of the wife as Christ is the head of the church. His body of which he is the savior. Dude, this guy is the murderer? Creepy fucker. This fruit stall punk gets about 10 seconds to explain before I pull his fucking arms off. Clip! Oh my god. God damn it, get after him, Cole. <laughs> I'll try to shoot out his tires. Wish me luck. Oh my god. We should have grabbed him when we had the chance, Belt. When we had the chance, we didn't know he was our guy. Don't go to sleep on me. Get me back in close. Wow, dude. Strange that he'd leave a trail of blood right back to his own market. Maybe he wanted to be caught. A lot of them do. Oh, this is crazy. Oh, this guy's crazy. It's almost too perfect, isn't it? There's no such thing as too perfect. Hit it! Clean this asshole off the wall. Come on. I'll try to shoot out his tires. Wish me luck. There it goes. There it goes. He out. He did. Oh my god. <clears throat> You're a sick man, Clem. You need help. Outstanding job on this case, gentlemen. The poor woman can now rest in peace. I'll pay the fiend a personal visit myself and remind him the crime in this city does not go unpunished. When they finish with him at the receiving hospital, we'll have him up before the grand jury. I have a meeting this afternoon with the mayor, lads. I'll be sure to mention your names. Now, on your way. Wow. That was a crazy turn of events. Holy cow. Given the size of Clem's stash, it was a wonder you didn't catch him red-handed at El Dorado.
All right, guys, we're going to end it here. That was a great case. Honestly, that was great. That was, that was fantastic. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, if you did, please leave it a like, and uh, hopefully I will catch you guys on the next case. Catch you later.